All right. So in this video, I will quickly show you how you can set up the universal robot uh, real-time face tracking on your own system. Um, you've probably seen this demonstration video uh, where I showed kind of how the system works and how the robot, as you can see here, tracks my face around the room and follows, follows my motions. I will go a bit into detail how you can, uh, how to download and set it up and install all the requirements. If you are already familiar with Python, um, this might be a bit boring to you, but I still want to give everyone the chance to follow along. So, um, you can find the code on my GitHub repository. The link is also in the description. And um, the first thing you should do is, of course, download or clone this code. So if you don't know how to use Git or GitHub, you can just uh, download it as a zip file, and then you should have it on your own system in a folder. And then we will open a command prompt or a uh, PowerShell. In this case, if you're using Mac or Linux, this is just a terminal. Um, it should all work uh, pretty much the same. And the first thing we do is, of course, uh, navigate to this folder where we installed uh, or where we downloaded and unzipped um, all the files. And the next step is something that I do because I'm using Conda. So I will do uh, Conda activate and activate an environment that I actually uh, created for this. And um, just to show you how, how I would do it uh, if I was using Conda, you can also use Py virtual environments or just install the requirements directly into your uh, normal uh, global Python, Python environment that you have on your computer. Um, all the requirements that are necessary are listed here on this um, in the requirements.txt. And so we can just, uh, after we activated our environment, just do uh, pip install r and then do uh, require mens.txt. And this will then download and install all the necessary packages. So while this is installing, oh, it's already finished, but uh, today I do not have access to a universal robot, but I'm using a UR sim with a UR10. This is the CB version, but it should work the exact same on a ME series universal robot. Um, I won't show you how you can install a, uh, the UR sim on a virtual machine yourself, but um, just, uh, yeah, this is just, uh, you can find a lot of uh, guides to this on the internet and just install the UR sim so you can have access to this. And this then gives us the possibility to use it just as we would a um, regular a regular robot. Um, I'm not sure why this uh, keeps flickering like this, but it uh, should not hinder us with actually uh, going through with the program. So now that we've installed all the requirements that are necessary for the, um, uh, for the face tracking, I will open the code in uh, Visual Studio Code. You can use any text editor uh, that you like. And um, there are just a few things that we need to, that we need to set up. So in our um, virtual uh, machine where the UR sim is running, uh, we have to make sure we get the, uh, IP address of the robot. It might be that when you open this, you do not see an IP address. In this case, you can simply uh, go into the system preferences and go into uh, open a terminal and enter uh, if config, and then you will see the, uh, the IP address right here. But if you're using a real robot, uh, this will show up here. Uh, of course, this um, uh, necessitates that you are actually connected to the same network that uh, the computer is that is running the face tracking. So now that we are here, we can uh, make just a few, uh, uh, a few minor adjustments. First of all, make sure that the robot IP is correct. So this um, should be the same IP as your robot. So here the robot IP is correct, and this is just the same uh, IP as your robot. You can maybe turn down the acceleration and velocity in the beginning. So maybe let's take uh, four and this also, uh, just to be a bit conservative, uh, especially when you're using a real robot. And then the next thing is we can select a start position. So this start position um, uh, is just the angles of the robot um, that it will start in, and you can simply you can simply, when you are uh, when you are here in the um, um, control uh, graphical programming environment for the universal robot, you can just uh, move it to whatever position you want, and then simply copy these values um, to the 
uh, to these values right here. And so here we have the um, uh, uh, here we have the actual like pose of the robot, so the starting position. Um, most of the other things you should not uh, necessarily have to, to change. Uh, maybe the video resolution if you want to uh, use a different resolution. And then this is the maximum Y and the maximum X. And um, without going too much into detail how this works, basically the robot creates a kind of window. You can also kind of see this on the um, on the uh, demonstration where the robot creates a, a certain window that it moves along. So it moves uh, uh, this uh, maximum value in one direction and then also a maximum value in the other direction. And then it also rotates. So it might rotate uh, 50 degrees when it's in, uh, at the edge of one direction and it might also uh, um, rotate a different amount when it looks down or up. So these are values, you can also play around with these um, that kind of just tell the robot, okay, how far can you move and how far uh, do you rotate the, um, basically the head of the robot. All right, otherwise um, there's not much that you should need to, to uh, set up. So uh, let's try to actually run it. So make sure you have, of course, the uh, environment selected that you are actually using and um, uh, where you also installed the requirements. And um, now I will just uh, go here and simply uh, say Python. And then this uh, file is called face underscore tracking, what's it called, 01.py. And if you set up everything correctly, it should work right away and the robot is initialized. And as you can see here, it uh, moved to the starting position. And there's also a window that pops up on your, on your screen where you can see the actual thing the robot sees. Right now, my camera is stationary and of course not connected to the uh, virtual robot. So um, this will not work quite the same as it would in real life because usually when the robot is moving, um, it would of course, uh, the, the image would of course change and we would slowly start to to uh, gain access or like get closer to the to the face and have the face be in the middle. But now, as you can see, as I'm moving around here, uh, the robot uh, moves to the position that is specified. And you can also see this in this um, uh, visualization, kind of the direction the robot will take. So if I'm going up, the robot goes up. If I'm going down and the robot knows it has to go down uh, to find me, it will go into that direction. And here you can also see kind of this, uh, this window that I've talked about where the, um, the robot will not move indefinitely. It will not uh, do a complete circle, but it will move in this kind of two dimensional plane and then um, move up, down, left and right in order to, to find the person. And it would also not uh, go indefinitely in uh, up or down. It will simply uh, stop after, after a while. And this of course also necessary so you don't uh, kind of crash the robot just by standing uh, in the wrong spot. And yeah, this is basically it. So um, after we, 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 we initialized everything, and um, you can also see this here. So there's a, the initialize, initialization, so the robot is initialized and then the loop starts. And then it, this basically uh, runs indefinitely. So until you uh, tell it to stop. And we can just uh, do this by doing control C in the uh, terminal. This will stop. Um, unfortunately, I did a bit of a mistake. So this, uh, the robot camera will not uh, stop automatically. You simply have to uh, close the program here. Um, this can be uh, easily changed by just uh, making sure OpenCV knows how to close the window. All right, but um, apart from that, there's not much else to it. So you need to make sure you have the environments installed, uh, requirements installed. You need to make sure that you are in the right um, uh, virtual environment if you're using Conda or something similar. And um, otherwise, you should not be, uh, you shouldn't need to to kind of um, set anything else in the in the controls or in the code. Of course, you can use the code however you like, um, but there is a restriction on that. So the code is uh, licensed under the GPL v3. So this means that um, uh, you can do whatever you want with it, but you need to um, uh, also 
show your code. So if you're doing any project, um, that's perfectly fine, but you also need to kind of uh, publish your code under the same license so others can also see what you, what you did with it. All right, if you have any other questions or um, um, if something was unclear or something is different in your, in your configuration, let me know. You can either uh, comment under this YouTube video. You can also open an issue on, um, on the GitHub page. And um, yeah, I will make sure to get back to you. Um, just one more thing if you're using a Raspberry Pi, uh, then it might be a bit more uh, difficult to install, especially OpenCV. Um, but there are also guides on the internet how you can do this on a Raspberry Pi. So um, make sure that all of these things are installed before you try to run it. And also if you're using a Raspberry Pi, especially a lower model, so if it's not a 4 and um, with uh, the, the newest model, it might be a bit slower. So you might need to, um, to kind of make sure that it's, uh, that it's running very smoothly, that you don't do anything else on the Raspberry Pi, so all of the um, uh, compute capabilities of the Raspberry Pi are used for this program. All right, that's it from me. I hope uh, this was informative and you can now also run this program and do your own project with it. And I would be very interested to see what others can come up with and uh, kind of build on top of what I've built. Thank you for watching and see you.